Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. We meet again in Mathematics Lesson Year 4. For today, we will learn another topic of the Mathematics Lesson Year 4, which is Estimate Quantities. You can refer to your textbook, page 13 and page 14. Normally, in this topic, you need to estimate quantities from the bigger things to the smaller thing, just like this. So, the question will ask you to estimate what is the quantity or what is the volume of the smaller object based on the bigger object given before. Or, you need to estimate from the smaller object just like this to the bigger object just like this. So, you need to estimate what is the volume or quantities or the mass of this object based on the smaller object given before. So, that's how you do the estimate quantities. I will show you the example after this. In this example, the teacher asked the people to try to guess the number of water balls in jar B. So you can see there are two jars here, jar A and jar B. You can see in jar A, there are fulls of water ball here. And then in jar B, you can see the water ball is about half of the jar. And then something given to you which is the quantity of water balls in jar A is 20,000 units. So the first girl said that the number of water balls in jar B must be less than 20,000. Yes, because as you can see, the number of water balls in jar B is smaller than jar A. So the number should be less than 20,000. And then the other girl said about 10,000 balls. This is how you express the estimation of quantities by using word about. About 10,000 balls. And we can also use word nearly. We say that the balls in jar B nearly 10,000 balls. Okay, then we look at Hazel, Vinod and Anis. These three pupils estimated the number of water balls above, whose estimation is the most accurate. Why? Okay, so we, we can see that Hazel estimate 5,500 in jar B while we not estimate 10,005 Anis estimate 15,725 water balls in jar B so which pupils estimate the most accurate if we draw again the jar A and jar B side by side we know that jar A has 20,000 water ball in it. Okay, we need to estimate what is the quantities of water ball in jar B. So, if you draw a line straight from jar B to jar A, you found that the quantities of lower side and upper side is about the same. So, if the whole quantities of A is 20,000, so half quantity in B should be 10,000. So, what do you think? Whose estimation is the most accurate? Yes, the most accurate is V0, which which 
estimation is 10,005 water balls. Why? Because the quantities of water ball in Jabi is about half of quantities in Jabi. Now we go to example number two. As you can see, there are three poles, which is pole R, pole S, and pole T. The volume of water in pole R is 4,000 liters. While you need to estimate the volume of water in pole S and pole T. Okay, look at the question. The volume of water in pole R and T is less than the volume of water in pole S. The height of pool S is almost four times the height of pool R. The height of pool T is about double the height of pool R. Estimate the volume of water in pool S and pool T. By looking at the information given, the height of pool S is almost four times. Okay, four times of pool R while the height of pool T is about double double mean two time of pool R from the information given we can draw a picture just like this we know that the volume of water in pool R is 4000 liter we write down there and then we need to find out what is the volume of water in pool S. The question said pool S is about 4 times of pool R. So, we know that here is 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000. To find the answer for pool S, you can do either use multiplication which is 4 times 4,000 liter or you can use addition which is 4,000 liter plus 4,000 liter plus 4,000 liter plus 4,000 liter which is both method will get answer 16,000 liter. For pool T, pool T is double from R. Double means 2 times. So, it should be 4,000 liter and 4,000 liter. The way you find the answer for pool T is T equal to, you can use multiplication, which is 2 times 4,000 liter or you can use addition which is 4,000 liter plus 4,000 liter both method will get the same answer which is 8,000 liter and finally we get the answer T is 8,000 liter I hope this explanation will help you to understand the topic Estimate Quantities. See you again in another lesson. Good luck and bye-bye.